Alex from Strava here and a little update on our development B8S4. Uh, so this Audi is, uh, is quite capable. One of the areas that the B8 especially lack is in braking performance. The B9s, they've increased the braking capacity by swapping to a multi-piston caliper. Uh, this one still has a single piston caliper, but uh, really what suffers in your brake system the most is going to be um, you know, your pads, your fluid, and everything overheating. And we looked at the design of this car and decided that we can make some improvements. So the rotor, the OEM rotor is a 345 uh, millimeter rotor. It is quite a large rotor. So from that perspective, there's not that, that much uh, that we felt should be done. This is not really gonna be a track car, but uh, the mods that we do uh, to increase the cooling capacity uh, of the brakes uh, can certainly be used on track. So the first thing we looked at, we looked into some ducting. One thing you'll notice is that the wheel well of this car is completely sealed. So there's no air getting into this area to cool the brakes. And furthermore, it's got a lip here. And then the lip is good for aerodynamics as it helps air uh, not move into this cavity here, which is poor for aerodynamics, but it's also doesn't help our cooling. So the first thing is that we found these Porsche Mech and ducts. Now these bolt onto the tie rods. Now don't bolt, they clip on. So that's an incorrect statement. We got these from ECS too, and you can find them in a whole bunch of different areas. So there's the part number once again. And they are, they fit very, very well. So uh, clearly that this design was used in the Mechan, it was used in the uh, Q5s. So you can use uh, these ducts, but a few things we noticed, once we lower the car down, this lip here was blocking essentially the entire duct. So we trimmed, we trimmed the plastic lip. We left a little bit here where it doesn't interfere with the duct and this will help get more air in there. The next thing we noticed is this, this heat shield which stock, it's, it's really does, does a good job at, at insulating everything from, from uh, some dust, from debris from this side, but it doesn't help us in terms of cooling. Now, this car has multiple bolt joints here, here, uh, you've got your ABS sensor here. So you don't want to completely remove this. You can, uh, but for, you know, you wanna protect these components that can melt due to excessive heat. So we found after a bunch of trial and error, and one of the best ways to get some more air is to actually trim this heat shield. So as you can see, we've trimmed it here. Uh, and now with, uh, with this trimmed out of the way, this duct will receive more air and it'll push some of that into this area where, where you see some heat being shed from the rotor. So you can couple this sort of modification with upgrades to your braking system. Uh, on this car, but overall, uh, to cool, you need air, and uh, airflow is king. Airflow is king in terms of brakes, airflow is king in terms of engine cooling, and this gets you a step closer.